Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and today we're here to check in our week four of March. Week four for us is going to be from the 24th to the 31st and I already have my expenses written down. I don't have too many for this week so we're just going to get started and try to run through this video. So let's actually do the bills first since I sometimes forget to lay down the bills first but the first one was for hbo max we had this one come out on march 24th so leave this one down there then the next bill that we had is for spotify spotify came out on the 28th of march and i always have a hard time laying down the ones on this side because i don't have like a line to guide me but that was on the 28th then we have internet that came out on the 30th that was on this day last but not least the last bill we had came out on the 29th for student loans and this is for dustin's student loan loans particularly Alrighty, so now those are all the bills. Those are all the remaining bills that we had for the month. Now to talk about the expenses that came out. For the expenses, the first one is going to be for gas. We refilled on gas on the 26th of March, and that was for $39. And gas is this purple color for our key category. And our key is on this side. This is the colors that we assign to each different category. So we can color coordinate our expenses from what type of expense it was for the month so that was it for the gases then we had another one that was from our allowance category this was for kpg this was 18 dollars. this was from our allowance category although it was technically for our baby we took her to an indoor playground and it was so fun she's so cute we love seeing her interact with other kiddos that was it for the 26th. On the 27th, we had an expense as well. This was for eating out. We got some Chick-fil-A this day for $12. We used to get so much Chick-fil-A, but we definitely don't get it as often as we used to, which is good. I think not eating out as often is just good in general. Next, we also had groceries. Groceries, we actually ended up taking out I'm gonna change this because we did not take it out of our groceries category. We actually took it out of our eating out category because we had so much left over. So it's actually gonna be from our eating out category. This one is wrong. But the reason why I kind of generically wrote it as groceries is because it is from multiple different areas. I believe it was from Costco, from H Mart, from Wegmans. I didn't end up separating it out. I just kind of lumped it all together. But that was on the 28th for groceries. Those are all of the expenses that we had from our categories. So let's just lay down our non-spend stickers. We don't have too many considering the amount of bills that came out. It kind of took up some of our days. And the reason why I don't count those is because certain bills we... Well, certain bills I feel like it is a necessity. Like water and sewer and elect like Wi-Fi and stuff. But... Regardless, there's other bills like HBO or Spotify or student loans, which is debt, which I don't really consider a necessity. It's kind of things that we added on in our life or accumulated in our past. So that's kind of why I just make it easy. All bills are not considered a non-spend. But those are all of the remaining expenses for the last week if you guys hear my neighbor mowing their lawn i do apologize but other things i wanted to talk to you guys about is we definitely did get a hospital bill that came in the hospital bill from our baby's birth and we did pay it it was approximately fifteen hundred dollars this was one of the bills i believe there's a couple more coming in that's going to total for like another thousand and change so we're just waiting for those to come in but for her birth, which was back in February, it was $1,500, so we paid that from our short-term savings accounts, which we will talk about when we check in. And then the last things I want to share with you real quick that we spent was from our sinking funds. We spent quite a few. We do have to still calculate the clothing expense. We took out $30 for our savings board challenge, which is this savings challenge that we have in the back of the planner so far we've saved 30 dollars 
I don't know if we'll be able to save some more because a lot of our categories are starting to look very skimp and I just know for April, May, June, we have a tendency of spending more. I don't know if it's because it's like springtime, we feel the need to like reorganize, clean, and go out, cabin fever. I'm not really sure, but I'm trying to be a little bit more mindful. I do really want to save, but I just don't want to be in a situation where we save, but then we save so much, we end up having to take out savings in order to balance out negative numbers. It kind of like defeats the purpose in my head. So I'm just trying to be mindful because in my head, I'm trying to make it where whatever we save, we just don't touch. It's just, it's in there. It's in savings. That's it type of deal. Let's see, so that was clothing. Then we have home. Home we spend from um, Costco to replenish some toilet paper, paper towels, and tissues. And that was 104. It wasn't just that, but we did replenish on other things. We got like a big thing of like meat and stuff too. That lawnmower is very loud. But, um, what else did we spend? From our baby category, we did spend $22 for like a family pool day. We did end up taking it out of here. Then we also had our home category. From our home category, we spent $12 for some beach towels since every time we go to the pool, we just use like old bath towels and we found some from Costco and we decided to just get a couple of beach towels so we have them for next time and they're gigantic. And now we are ready for our weekly check-in. So I finished writing down the categories that we'll be checking in for, which of course is our basically our electronic cash envelopes. Since we are cashless budgeters, everything we use is from our credit cards. We don't really use cash like ever. We don't have too, too many expenses, but let's just go ahead and knock them out. We're gonna do the one-off things first this week. So KPG was $18, that was from our allowance envelope or allowance category so $18 nothing for groceries nothing for our babies gas we spent $39 and that was those two categories last but not least we have two eating out expenses so first one was $12 that plus 119 equals $131 that was spent from our eating out category. Alrighty, and that was it for the categories. Now let's just balance this out for the remaining amounts. Last week we had $150 left over for eating out. So that minus 150 means we have $19 left over from our eating out category. Groceries, we did not spend anything, which means we still have $15. Then for gas, 25 minus 39. We're actually in a negative by $14 for this one. I feel like we always underestimate spending on gas. So I end up pulling from our savings challenges from this category and then I end up being negative because of that. But that was negative 14. For allowance, we had $12. 12 minus 18, we're also negative by $6 in here. And then for babies, we did not spend anything, so we still have $2 in this category. Now to balance out our checking account. Our checking account houses the funds for our daily categories, which are these electronic cash envelopes. And then it also houses the funds for all of our bills along with our sinking funds. I do set up this checking account or balance out this checking account with you guys week by week along with doing like a pre-balance at the beginning of the months. So I will be doing one for April since I did not get to film one for March. But now let's go ahead and balance these accounts. So for our daily or our day-to-day -day expenses, which are broken down to these categories, and we do budget for these at the beginning of every month. We have spent we have spent 131 plus 39 plus 18. That is a total of $188 that was spent for this week. 188. Then for our bills, we definitely did have the remaining bills come out for this month. And these are all of our bills. We had our student loans for my husband's come out. His was $86.52 for our student loans for him. Spotify, $11.65, so that's normal. Then we have internet, which is $95, and that is looking good. 
Then we also have HBO, which was $16.95. And that is also looking good. So that means everything is officially checked off for this last week. So now let us count everything out. In total, we had student loans $68.52 plus $95 plus Spotify $11.65, plus HBO $16.95. And that is a total of $210.12 that came out this week for all of the remaining bills. Then of course, for sinking funds. For sinking funds, broken down is all of these subcategories over here. And we definitely did have a good amount that came out as well. So clothing, we'll do 30. Home 104 plus baby 22 plus home another $12. That is a total of $168 that came out from our sinking fund categories. So that is all caught up as well. So 168. Now we're going to balance out what we have residual since we definitely did spend a good amount. Let's see what we're supposed to have left over. Sinking funds last week we had $1,206. That means we still have a remaining $1,038. Our interest, I still have not transferred over the interest, so I, I, I should do that. So I want to make sure to do that today with you guys, but that is still two cents for the interest that I still have yet to transfer over. For bills, last week we had a remaining $369.97 minus 210 12 it means we still have a remaining of 159 dollars and 85 cents for our bills and then for our daily we had 204 that minus the 188 means we still have 16 dollars remaining for our daily categories now to balance out this account so let's see here i finally have time to film and this lawn mowing is so loud. We're going to go ahead and balance out this account since we use our credit card for everything. We still have the money for it and we have to pay our credit card. So for sure we know that our day-to-day -day categories, we spend from our credit card all the time. Same with our sinking funds. So we definitely have to transfer those, 188 plus that 168. So far, we know we have to transfer 356 to pay back our credit card for using it for all of these purchases. But let's actually just add up our bills real quick as well. For our bills, we also do mark which one comes out of our checking account versus our credit card because we do try to hook up bills to our credit cards so we can take advantage of that 2% cash back since. If we just have it from our checking account, we don't get any type of rewards, but some of the bills do charge a penalty. That's why some of them come out of our checking account and some of them come out of our credit card. But of course, with that, we have to do an extra step of seeing which ones came out where so we can pay back our credit card. So we know for internet, I've marked a C next to the ones that come out of our credit card. Internet came out of our credit card. So we owe our credit card 95. So that's another $95 we have to transfer. Same with Spotify, we have to transfer that $11.65 and we also have to transfer the HBO amount for $16.95. So in total, we have to transfer $4.79.60 over to our second checking account to pay our credit card. And if you guys are curious about how I have our account set up, this is how they're set up. We have two savings, two checking accounts. One of them is at another institution, and then these three are at the same institution. I will have a video linked below going over how we set up these accounts, how they kind of interact with each other, how we utilize them, all of that good stuff down below. I feel like every time that lawnmower comes close to the window, I am yelling because I don't know if it drowns out my voice. Okay, I keep losing my train of thought because I keep pausing because the lawnmower dude is so loud. What were we saying? So we're gonna transfer over that amount from our checking account that houses all of the funds. This is specifically the house, the cash that we have right now. And we're gonna transfer it over to our primary checking. This is the account specifically for all outgoing funds or spent money. I used to have them all in one account, but I used to get so confused 
especially when there was like a holiday or something the institution would take like an extra two days to take it out or the weekend or whatever and sometimes i would miscalculate thinking that we had extra funds so this is specifically for us to place whatever funds we already spent and once it's in here we know that it's going to be used to pay our credit card and I don't have to worry about timing and everything. I just have to focus on what we actually have. And then also, of course, like our savings and stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and transfer this and I'll be right back. Wait, before I forget, I'm actually going to transfer that little two cents of interest as well. The plus 0 0.02. We're going to actually transfer over 479.62. Just so we can get rid of that little interest. And since we're transferring it, I'm just going to mark that. It's not in that account anymore. 0 0.02 will transfer, and then that means we'll have zero for the interest. Okay, now that I've officially balanced out this account, let's just change this. This is how much we left off last week when we balanced it out together, just so you guys can see that. But the new amount that's in this account currently is now going to be $1,213.85. So let's see if that is accurate. I'm gonna go ahead and add all of these up now. 16 plus 159 plus 85 plus 1038. And that matches perfectly. Alrighty, so we are good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and write this down. I really apologize guys if the lawn mowing has affected this video a lot. I thought about stopping filming now and to film later today but knowing how it's been hard to find time i'm just so nervous if i stop now i won't find time later so let's see um what else did we want to do real quick oh i wanted to share with you guys how much was in this savings account so we did end up paying for that medical bill which means the new amount in here is now less of course the amount in here is now going to be seven thousand seven hundred and twelve dollars and sixteen cents we will be transferring over quite the chunk for april's budget so this is going to deplete even more and then after we get those final medical bills i'm just hoping that we still have enough let's just hope but yes so that's actually going to be it for this video i guess just to wrap it up one more thing that we can do is let me actually just show you guys how these numbers also balance out so last week we had 1779.99 that minus the 188 that we spent minus the 21012 for bills minus the 168 from seeking funds in that little um what is it called the little interest it also balances out so that's another way to view it as well but now officially that's going to be it for this video again i did want to do some more savings but i'm going to just hold off for this week and then just try again in april just to see where the numbers are at but thank you guys so much as always for tuning in in this video and hopefully i'll see you guys next time bye